all right guys so just uh coming down gonna check out the lake and see what happens i mean i was here a little while ago um haven't really been talking about it a ton but um gonna see what the bite is like we got uh some early monsoons yeah. coming in and um might get hit with a little rain today we'll see i hope not um there was a fish kill at this lake a while back and from what i understand fishing's been a little bit tough uh been able to get some big ones here and there uh, but we're basically just going to give it a shot and go blind um, i don't have the whole time to fish i've got to um i got to do a little bit of testing of some baits so we're going to kind of give that a shot today and see if uh you know we can catch some on some old stuff maybe on some new stuff um, and kind of go from there but it looks like we got a pretty nice day not a lot of people out here during the week um, so we'll, we'll give it a shot and see what happens and uh, we'll talk a little bit about what's going on as i'm fishing today and kind of what i'm looking for but um you know we are in the middle of the summer this lake really kind of warms up after a lot of the other ones so i'm kind of wondering if today we may still even have fish closer to that post spawn um kind of kind of pattern and i think we may have a mix of post spawn um, and summertime early summertime fishing they're probably a little bit of everywhere but we're gonna check it out see how it goes so excited to see what we do today guys so just pulled up gonna try to figure out what's going on so in my mind I'm like all right we're probably right after the post spawn getting into the summer pattern they could be in a few different places sometimes they get on the walls um, sometimes they'll be a little bit closer to some of that uh, you know those spawning areas and be on some offshore structure um, so we're gonna check it all today first place I saw was a wall so I'm gonna start there and just kind of see what happens um, see if there's any fish sitting on the steep stuff and kind of go from there. Interesting. Uh, there he is. Good fish. For a six pound test, right? Dang. He's fighting. Love it. Yeah. Strong, huh? Oh, that's a good looking fish, dude. Yeah, big old, that's big a old good looking fish. Oh, come here. Big old tub, man. Belly, dude. He's been eating well. Yeah. So pulled up to the walls there, just throwing a little Berkeley bottom hopper worm and uh, catch one like that. I mean, they got a belly. Look, they're eating good. So I mean, shad everywhere. Um, so there's the first one on the walls. So definitely fish on the walls right now. Thanks, dude. Nice. Come up. Come up front. Brando. One coming off? Nope. Let's duck it. Do you have a net? <laughs> he sure felt like it at first. Do you have a net? No, he's not that big. He took off like he's just strong. He's not very big. He's a strong guy. Not like a big thing. Just strong, man. Not not big. Just a big. Just a belly on him. Yeah, he's got a belly. Oh, 
old football again. Just a football. So, we got another one. Uh, Brendan just caught one. Um, and I got this guy, another big belly. So we came out to some offshore stuff this time as opposed to sitting on some of the walls just to see if they're here. Seems like more fish, just not as big, but pristine. I mean, everything's put together. So we'll keep going, see what we can find. That was a drop shot fish, by the way. I'm um, just trying to, you know, get along uh, some of the rock structures offshore, drag the drop shot around. So um, see how it works. We'll keep going. Oh, no. He's, he's just fighting. Good fish. Right. Go all the way up. Down there, and you might have to lick him. <laughs> Dogging you. Dude, he's strong. Get out of way, Brandon. For a little fat fish. Yeah, hold that thing up to that can. There we go. Watch the belly on it. These hooks are just pretty, dude, it's stuck on that one. You're right, these hooks are good. Oh, is that a better one? It is, I was on something and he was sitting there and I tried to whack it off it and of course he took, no he's not, he's little, but he took it. Eating up that drop shot, huh? Oh yeah, and these colors, I like these fish. Man, that hook is so good. I was stuck, dude, and I was wiggling it and then all of a sudden he ate it off what I was stuck on. Man, I'm telling you, that, that fusion hook, I told you, it's... You sold me on them, I don't think I'll go back to anything else. Jam. All of them, man, they're really good. So anyways, guys, Brendan got another one. He's wearing them out on the drop shot here. Um, I'm kind of throwing some bigger stuff. I mean, I threw a big drop shot. Um, right now, I'm kind of chucking and winding the H&E around. Uh, but we found some offshore, uh, which is kind of cool. I mean, it seems like they're grouped up. Um, so we're just going to kind of keep going, picking away at them and, and seeing what happens. But there's fish here. The only bummer is that they don't seem to be as big. So, um, I mean, it's cool. We're catching them, but we're, we're here in the middle of the day. It's like 105, 106 degrees out. So we definitely aren't at like the most ideal time uh, to be catching them. So normally I'd be like, hey, let's go look for a big one. But right now, if we're catching them in the hottest part of the day, we're going to stay on these fish for a minute and see what happens. So we'll keep going. Um, but nice work, Brennan. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You never know when the next cast is an eight pounder. Actually, I probably shouldn't have here. I should probably just retie, huh? Yep. Okay. It's the number one mistake, man, of guys why they don't win tournaments. They lose a big fish. Like, I don't, oh, I'm good. And then they break Didn't retie. They didn't, you know, they got something going on. Take the five minutes and retie. Yep. Okay. 100%. Accent General, uh, Nico rig, so um, or the Neko rig as they say in Japan, kind of cool. Little ones, so we're gonna have some more fun here. The right weather, isn't it? Yep. Stops. They're cookie cutter bass. It's a Bartlett Day at Suaro. <laughs> that again, though, big old fat one. They got some power. Oh, 
He's still not ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna get you now. Stop. All right. One more. There he is. Oh, <laughs> what a weasel. I got him. He got you. They're just catching fish. I mean, I'm hesitant like, to go to the... Literally catching fish. I don't want to go to the drop shot just because I don't want to, you know? But I may have to. Yeah, this thing just pierces so easily. It goes in. All right, guys. We are done for the day. I was down here with my man, Brendan. Say hi, Brendan. Um, we had a lot of fun. We did not catch any big ones. Uh, we caught a lot of fish. Um, but we did not catch any big fish. We had one flurry where we moved offshore and caught a whole bunch of small ones. I don't know where the big fish went. Um, it may just have not been the right day for them. Um, and then at some point, the current shut off and the bite completely shut down. Um, and once that happened, we didn't get another bite. So we're gonna head home. Um, but I think lesson from today is you sort of just kind of fish the conditions. We never really ran into a pattern. Um, you know, I don't think there's a lot of bass left in this lake. There are a lot of shad though, and there's a lot of bluegills, and a lot of the fish we caught had shad coming out of them. So, um, which is interesting, but we didn't have the right conditions to throw a moving bait. So everything was kind of on the bottom, throwing a drop shot, throwing a shaky head, a nickel rig, a um, little bit on the free rig, but um, fun day. We had a good time. We got to check out this lake. It's not completely dead. Do I think it's anywhere near where it used to be? No way. Uh, but it's still a cool place to fish. And uh, I'll be off to the next one. I think I might do a little striper fishing. Um, so until next time, see you guys later.